What's going on guys? We are back with another awesome mod for our recovery especially and that is the multi rom. If you don't know what is multi rom then let me tell you briefly that it's you can use multiple roms not just single rom in your rooted android phone uh, currently i'm using the moto e and we are happy to see the multi rom being built for this device so right now i'm in fill touch recovery that's a cwm it doesn't matter in whichever recovery you are it anyway is going to be changed into twrp because at present twrp is the only supported partner for multi rom and uh, the link is given in the description below directly for the XDA page. Head towards that to check out more and know more about Multiram and the download link is also given in that page. So over here uh, I have pasted three files. You'll fi find three files in the downloads. One is for uninstalling and one is for the boot image. Another is a zip file. So that's the two main files that which we are going to be using one is for the installing zip file and the other is boot image first off boot into your recovery mode and then install zip head towards that choose zip from sd card one because i have stored that file in my external sd card and i've created this multi rom folder inside which we have the uninstaller zip and the first one the selected one is the installing zip First we need to flash that, give yes, okay so once that's flashed go back, power options and then power off. Now that you have flashed the zip file it's turned for flashing the boot image. So I've switched off my phone. Alright, so we are finally booted inside the ROM. So we're going to be checking out how to flash the boot image. And I'll be using a handy app called the Flashify app, which you can get it from the Play Store. And I'll be using that app to flash the boot image, rather than using the PC. Right, over well, here you have the option to flash boot image, recovery image and zip file. Since it's a recovery image, we'll be selecting that one. And then hit choose a file. Alright, inside file manager. As I said, we have created... We're going to SD card and multi ROM. Alright. Here we have the multi ROM TWRP image. It's asking if you want to flash recovery. Yep. Alright, now once the flashing is done, you can either reboot or flash more files. I'm just gonna give flash more and get back. And this time, we can directly reboot to recovery mode. Right, we have booted into TWRP actually right now uh, in previous one you saw that we were in CWM fill touch recovery but as I said multi ROM TWRP this is it TWRP supports multi ROM and not for the CWM alright now to use the multi ROM it's hidden inside the advanced option over here you can see multi ROM get inside it you have a couple of options out there you don't need to worry about any of these uh, for adding a ROM just click on add ROM ROM type is Android install to internal memory so one big drawback of this is that the ROMs which you flash will be installed in your internal storage so make sure you have ample amount of internal storage left so that the flashing of the secondary zip file is successful that is you get another ROM so we'll be flashing a zip file and uh, over here I have the paranoid Android beta 5 ready to be flashed so we'll be flashing this through DWRP
All right, finally the flashing is successful and it's time to see the multi-ROM in action. So directly give reboot system. And now this one will redirect you to the multi-ROMs page. So we have two ROMs out there. So this is the primary ROM which you are using. Internal means the ROM which you are presently in. I was in Carbon ROM previously and just now flash the Paranoid Android Beta 5. So it's your wish to boot into any ROM you want. So now I'll be booting into Paranoid Android. Multi-ROM is pretty handy enough in your testing ROMs and stuff so that you don't mess around with your data. So go give it a try and do like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe, share and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm ready for the rock.